Hello, this is Imi from itradeaims.com, AIMS Stress-Free Trading. Today I'm going to go through 10 steps to become consistently successful and profitable Forex trader. So would you like to go with me over it? Let's go over them one by one. The step one is accountability. You have to be accountable to yourself to become successful. So the first step towards consistent and prolonged success is to be accountable. Accountable to who? We trade alone. As traders, you know, there is nobody to stop us or tell us off if we break our own rules. So don't be a lone wolf. Be part of a group. Why is that? When you are part of a group, you can make your goals go public and become accountable to it. That's where AIMS comes in. That's where AIMS Community Forum comes in. So we have this friendly uh, forum. We are proud to say that we created a very friendly environment here at AIMS. When you become part of the AIMS Forum, you won't be judged. You start your journal. And people comment on it, experienced traders or the new traders, they go to your journals, they look at it, and you improve. You will get friendly remarks and constructive criticism. This accountability takes you to the next level. And why is it important? As we go through the next steps, you will know why accountability is at the top. And in doing so, being con keeping a journal and as we go through the next steps you will know that this will following this will make you a better trader over the next 6 to 12 months step 2 is to create your trading plan now this is connected to the first one but the reason we have put step 1 uh, accountability as the first thing is because it is the most important thing when it comes to trading success. Any trader without a trading plan will commit mistakes and will never know where that person is. So we believe strongly in the mantra of plan your trades and trade your plan. Working on your trading plan will put you way ahead of the pack. Learn to acknowledge and understand the correct trading environment you need to create. Take this trading plan and share it in your journal. Trading plan will keep you focused on your goals and objectives. Be prepared to plan or prepare to fail if you don't plan. And have a contingency plan with your plan within your plan as well. Another great thing about trading plan is the this thing called the T20 principle. So we have an excellent trading plan template and a sample trading plan available for you to use in the members dashboard. Also, if you read this ebook we call the T20 principle, you can incorporate this into your trading plan and it works well really nicely. And then there's another step in these steps which is called journaling so they all kind of work hand in hand. Step 3 identify your destructive habits. Once again journaling and a trading plan will help you with this as well and this is how. So you want to work when, you, when you're working on your trading plan you will do what we call the SWOT analysis and you want to find out what are your positive and negative points and within them you will find what are your destructive habits some people don't even know that they have destructive habits but everyone has them self-sabotage discipline laziness or the lack of discipline are you a, a risk taker do you do you know what is a controlled risk what is a calculated risk so you can visit the mind section in the forum and we have a particular book on this as well um, do a SWOT analysis what are your problems what are your destructive habits 
In the trading, trading plan section, you will find about a technique called SWOT analysis. So it's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. But on this one, you just do your strengths and weaknesses. And in the weaknesses, you will find your destructive habits. And then you can, well, when you're working on your trading plan, you can work on goals and objectives based around the weaknesses and strengths. We also recommend that you read AIM's Activating the Zone ebook, which will come very, very handy. The Zone ebook is about the mind, how to get into the right state of mind. Once identified, you can use these as goals and objectives in your trading plan, like I said before. Right, step number four, growth mindset. What is a growth mindset? We need to understand and instill growth mindset. Now, this is a broader topic and you can explore it further and that can be done. Learning is a never ending process. Um, we need to view every day as a step forward and aim to take no steps back. Read, educate yourself, learn from your mistakes, record the wisdom and learn to move on. From some of the mistakes so the suggested reading here is a great book called mindset by carol dweck so carol explains in her book what is the growth mindset and she introduces the concept of fixed mindset um, versus the growth mindset so let's talk about the fixed mindset a fixed mindset is a mindset where you have uh, thoughts like failure is the limit of my abilities. I'm either good at it or I'm not. How many times have you heard yourself or other people uh, say things like this? My abilities are unchanging. We think we are who we are. I can either do it or I can't. See, you try something and you're not good at it and you think, that's it, I'm not going to do it because I'm not good at it. And I don't like to be challenged. You want to be in your comfort zone. My potential is predetermined. People who believe too much in genetics, I mean, I'm not saying that genetics are wrong, but not everything is determined by genetics. For example, if when you start playing football, it's not your genes that will dictate 100% how good you're at it. There are, There is a certain percentage of it, but you can get better. And then when I'm first frustrated, I give up. Feedback and criticisms are personal in this mindset and I stick to what I know. But the thing is, you can learn. You can know more and become better. So when those thoughts are countered, they actually, to enter the growth mindset, failure is an opportunity to grow. So when you fail, you learn from it. So if you think about the other steps that I talked about, journaling and trading plan and stuff, this all can be incorporated into it. So when you record your trades in a journal, you make mistakes, you find out how to learn from them and to get better. I can learn to do anything I want. And this is so true. Anyone can learn anything that they want if they put effort into it. So it's effort-based. When you are in a fixed mindset, you just praise the, the intelligent kid, you push him forward, and the one that is not good, you th we, we label them and say they're not as good. But the fact of the matter is that you can train anybody to become really, really good. The only difference then is at the top, at the very, very top, there are uh, other factors that apply, and those are really narrow margins. Uh, in a growth mindset, Challenges help me to grow. You challenge yourself and you become better. My effort and attitude determine my abilities. So these things are very um, important for a trader because trading is uh, a skill that you have to learn and get better at it. So a lot of people would have bought a strategy or uh, read a book or become part of some other website and then they applied their strategy and a couple of weeks later they would face uh, different problems and they will leave and they will blame it on others and I don't blame them. It's it's just that they, they were not given um, good guidance. And so the next one, I am inspired by the success of others. So when you have a fixed mindset, you look at other people and you feel jealous and you think they're good and I'm not. 
Whereas when you instill a growth mindset, you get inspired by the success of others and um, you learn from them and you model success. This is what we are all about. In, in Ames, we always talk about, um, like Tony Robbins uh, said, that to become successful, you don't necessarily have to be a creator from the start. You can look at other people who are already successful and model their success. And you can only do that if you like to try new things. So let's move on. Oh, this other infograph is really interesting as well. I really like it. So in this, um, we have the two mindsets, the fixed mindset uh, against the growth mindset. So if you look at it on the left side is the fixed mindset, intelligence is static. And the growth mindset, the idea is that intelligence can be developed. And then challenges, obstacles, effort, criticism, success of others. So when you're faced with a challenge, with a fixed mindset, you want to avoid challenges. But with a growth mindset, you embrace challenges. When you're faced with obstacles in a fixed mindset, you give up easily. But with a, mi with a growth mindset, you persist in the, fakes, the face of setbacks. And when it comes to putting effort, see effort as fruitless or worse. Because you think, I'm not good enough. I can't be. I can't lift more than 100 kgs in a, in a deadlift, let's say. But no, you can. There will be a plateau. Or you can, there are ways and techniques to crash through the plateaus and go to new levels. With a growth mindset, see effort as the path to mastery. And then when you're faced with criticism, you ignore useful negative feedback. You don't want to be criticized. You, uh, you ignore it. But with a growth mindset, you learn from your criticism. People criticize you and you, you look at it and you evaluate it if there is value in it, if they are telling the truth, then it's a very, very powerful thing. And success of others, you feel threatened by the success of others in a fixed mindset. Uh, you want to avoid those people. But in a growth mindset, you find lessons, inspirations in the success of others, and this makes you better. As a result, in a fixed mindset, they may plateau early and achieve less than their full potential. So if there's a, if you're playing cricket or football or uh, let's say you're a trader or a bodybuilder. Let's take an example of a gym. Let's suppose you're doing uh, deadlifts and you see other people doing 140, 130. They look younger looking than you and they're more powerful. You look at them and you feel envy. And when they give you feedback, you kind of ignore them and you don't want to, you know, you want, you don't want to be compared to them. And when you hit about a plateau, you give up. Most of the time you'll say, oh, I can't lift more than 100, but at least you could do the 100. So keep carry on with the 100. But with a fixed mindset, what you do, you just give up. And all of this confirms a deterministic view of the world. And as a result of all this mindset, the growth mindset, they reach higher levels of achievement. Become they, they become better. All this gives them a greater sense of free will. So with a growth mindset, you were trying to do, um, let's suppose you were doing deadlift and at 100 you were failing. There's a technique of stepping back. So you go back to 80 and then every week, every week you uh, keep adding 5 kgs and keep doing it. And by the time you go to 100, you would have strengthened your muscles and you would break it. And then you will start going and, and sooner or later you will find, you'll hit another wall. And then you have to step back and then crash through it. And in trading, uh, this is what it is. Uh, people have different uh, type of problems that they face. For example, one of them is, oh, I mean, there are, there are so many of them, but let's, uh, let me just talk about when you are slightly successful and you start to make a little bit of money, it will be time for you to push yourself further by increasing your risk a little bit. And... Assuming that you have gone through the journey that we have put the, th the three stages that we have in Ames, that will be hard. I struggle with it myself because uh, there is no limit. There is no upper limit and I, you have to keep pushing. So let's go to the next step. Presentation is going a little bit too long. So this is step five. Where is your focus? Again, it is a series of steps. They are interconnected. So... We must remain focused at all times. And this is multidimensional. Having a good trading plan 
will help you remain focused. Focus is a fractal, right? It's different level. It's like an onion. You need to know what should be your focus during the minute, the hour, the day, the week, the month, the year, and the next five to ten years. Keep your focus on your goals and objectives. So we have uh, an AIMS ebook, How to Remain Focused. Uh, this would help. You can download it in the dashboard. Take your focus away from the technical side of trading and direct it more on the mental side of trading. Why? Because 80% of trading success depends on your mind. And we have a lot of help in this section available. This is the same step, step five. What is and how to get into the correct state of mind? If you want to do that, we have this excellent ebook. I love this book, Activating the Zone. There's things like what is and how to get into the correct state of mind. The war of brains, the left versus the right brain. How to get to the creative side of the brain. Intuitive trading techniques. Uh, and simple methods of how to get in the zone. And it also focuses on peak performance and in the zone trading. This is a very good book. I really like it. And you can download it from the dashboard. Step six, it's very important, is to choose correct time frame. Find out what is the best time frame for you. And by time frame, I mean the different chart time frames that you have. So do you prefer instant gratification or are you more comfortable with longer term results? The most important question is, are you a day trader? Are you a swing trader or an investor? You could be all three of them, but each will have, will require different training and different mindsets. And obviously we don't have that amount of money available, not everyone, so who can day trade on one account and swing trade on another one and being an investor on another one. Most of us here in Ames are either intraday day traders or swing traders. So the intraday, the, um, the intraday trading would be the one minute, the five minute, and the 15 minute charts. And swing trading would be the some would say hourly there are ways where you can do hourly charts with swing basis but hourly is like a uh, time frame that can be classed as day trading you could do techniques on the hourly where you can you know enter and well who's a day trader a day trader would enter and exit within the same day or the same session so you can do that on the hourly chart as well but hourly chart can also lead to letting the trades run on to the next day and that then becomes in that is the territory of as uh, swing trading so the swing trading time frames would be hourly four hourly and the daily time frame and then the investors would be daily weekly and monthly time frames step seven trading journal now i could have put this all the way up there uh, just after uh, the trading plan and all that but it, it just happens to be number seven it can be all the way up there. This could be your first step to trading success. And trading success is, it depends on whether you record your trades or not. This is connected to trading plan, as mentioned. So it's best to keep a trading journal, record your trades in detail. Uh, there are templates that we have uh, in our forum where you can have a particular way uh, or you can look at uh, other traders who already have their journals and they have a certain template that you can follow and you can copy that. So this is called modeling success. AIMS Forum. And another important thing is to commit to the T20 discipline training, that book that I showed you earlier. And the T20 ebook comes into play here. Uh, so you can incorporate the trading, uh, the trading journal, trading plan and all of this. Oh, yes. The power of this is unbelievable. This is one of the best things. We are, I'm, I'm proud of this. I mean, in trading, 
finding success alone is very difficult. So you need to have a community. Community has to be uh, with a good mindset, growth mindset, and helping community and positive people. And and in your training community, you need to have a journal section, which we have. Uh, it's so but that makes it is so strong and effective. Um, I actually don't have enough time and space here to explain it, but there are plenty of other videos that I've explained it. And if you become part of the ends, uh, some of you who are listening to this are actually part of it. So congratulations on that. Um, but this is what I want to say about this. You have to do it to believe it. It works. Keeping a journal is a ticket to becoming a better trader. That's it. Step eight is a regular physical exercise. I know. You might be wondering, what's Imi talking about? Why do I have to join a gym or exercise? I want to make money. Show me how to make money. Well, if you want to become good at trading, you must have a better mind. And to have a better mind, you must have a better, healthier body. That is the rationale behind it. How can you exercise? Well, exercise, cardio is more than exercise. It's, it's your me time. Have your me time. Half an hour run, a brisk walk, jump on the bike. Enjoy the outdoors. Or if the weather is English, <laughs> then join a gym or a yoga class. Swimming and sauna is a deadly combination as well. And step nine, learn to meditate and make it a habit. Meditation for mindfulness is a powerful habit. Watch the words I chose. I did not say thing or hobby. I said a habit. So it's a continuous thing. You have to do it and you have to make it a habit so it becomes part of your personality as a person who you are. According to the NHS, the National Health Services here in England, it can be easy to rush through life without stopping to notice much. Paying more attention to the present moment, to your own thoughts and feelings, and to the world around you can improve your mental well-being. This is so true. I mean, NHS is mainstream. People don't want to quote from them, but this is a very, very good thing. Learn to meditate. Make it a habit. Some people call this awareness mindfulness. Mindfulness can help you enjoy life more and understand ourselves better. You can take steps to develop it in your own life. So if you learn and apply to meditate for mindfulness, you will transform and trading will become a calm, stress-free, even a fun activity. There's a lot of help on this in the mind section. So in the, in the forum, those who are members, if they go to the forum, there is a mind section. Uh, please consider spending a considerable amount of time in the mind section of the forum. You will like it. And finally, step 10, watch all the videos. So well done, congratulations, you are watching this video. We have dozens of other videos that you can watch and become better. And this is because learning process speeds up if you integrate the various forms of learning. So we gather information through all our senses. And as such, the process of learning requires multiple channels which is why we have put the effort of writing ebooks, creating forum topics, presentations, and videos like this. And to that, we have added visuals in the books and in the form of videos. Videos are great because you can see, hear, and read all at the same time. So you learn using your skills of reading, listening, and seeing final piece of the puzzle is actually doing it. Doing it is what makes you better. And there's a video section in the dashboard and in the forum. So please go through all the videos. Take your time. There are loads of them. And some of them are old, but they still works. 
uh, they still work. Uh, so there are webinars, uh, you have uh, tutorial videos, uh, daily digest videos, and some live trading videos. It does not matter how old the videos are, because you might find videos from 2010 and 11 in there as well. That's when we started. But why are they useful? Because the methods are still valid. They still are usable. And we use them exactly the same way. I mean, why would we change? Because, you know, they work. So for those of you who have joined AIMS and watching this video inside the dashboard, I welcome you and I thank you once again. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you and thank you on taking the first step to furthering your knowledge along your journey to the ultimate destiny of prolonged, consistent profitability. Whew. You are amazing. My intentions are sincere and pure. I wish you the best of success in everything you ever wish for and some more on top. I hope to see you in the trading room and in the forum, and I'm looking forward to trading with you soon. And by the way, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. I am determined to upload as many videos regularly as possible. So I really hope you in, uh, you'll enjoy it and you'll benefit from it. I enjoy recording them. So please like and subscribe and see you soon.